all my name is krishna i am welcome to my youtube channel so guys today in this particular video we are going to discuss about this important distribution which is called as power law distribution if you are already following my playlist guys uh, i have already discussed about gaussian distribution we have discussed about log normal distribution and different types of distribution whenever i take some of the examples probably with respect to age with respect to weight right this usually follows a gaussian distribution if i take some examples with respect to the wealth distribution of the entire world then it may actually follow a log normal distribution now what exactly a power law distribution that we are going to understand first of all let's focus on this particular diagram guys a power law distribution usually looks something like this you know you always need to remember one very very important thing that is your 80 20% rule okay now if you really want to understand what is this 80 20% rule first of all you understand that the distribution looks something like this so in the x axis you have something in the y axis we basically have percentage you know so this percentage is nothing but it is also called as a proportional unit okay and in the x axis it is also called as a relative unit okay so i'll talk about it more but let's understand some examples so i really want to consider one example probably in a company 80% of the sales are coming from coming from 20% of the overall products overall products so here if i take this particular example in this particular case my y axis will be percentage of sales okay and my x axis may be overall products okay i'm just taking this as an example now from this particular graph it says that this 20 percentage of the overall products is actually doing the 80 percentage of the sales right so this entire 80 percentage of the sales are actually done by the 20 percentage of the overall products and the remaining 20 percentage of the overall sorry remaining 20 percentage of the overall sale is actually done by the 80 percentage of the overall products this is a very amazing example with respect to this kind of uh, uh, power law distribution very very important okay now let's go and see some other example the second example i'd like to consider over here i'll say that 80 percentage of windows crash i hope everybody uses windows crash are because of 20 percentage of all the bugs all all the overall bugs right so this is again an amazing example we can also consider this now what is the main thing that you really need to note okay here i can definitely write a relative change in one quantity see this based on this particular distribution i can come to a statement of this a relative change in one quantity results in a proportional change proportional change in other quantity this is how we can actually define this particular power law distribution guys we can say that this power law if somebody ask you in a interview because this is also a very important interview question they may ask you various examples so if somebody ask you what is a power law you can basically say that a power law is a relationship between two quantities wherein a relative change in one quantity results in a proportional change in the other quantity this is a very very important definition with respect to power law and this is what it basically says now let us see some more examples some more examples i'd like to consider and uh, you can also give two examples by pausing the video and commenting in the comment section uh, and i've seen like as many people are actually giving some amazing answers so let's see the third example i may say that 80 percentage i may say that 80 percentage of data scientist uses 20 percentage of the overall software products that are available in this specific domain right this will be my third example so 80 percentage of data scientist with respect to 20 percentage of the most so common software products 
Now my fourth example can also be like this. I hope everybody is interested in IPL matches. I may say that 80% of the IPL match, right, are won by 20% of the team, okay? Or 80% of the win of any match is actually done by 20% of a specific team, right? This is again one more example. Now, you can give various examples as you like, guys, but understand what is the understanding over here. You really need to follow this 80 to 20% rule. One very good example, uh, one very good example with respect to oil fields, okay? Oil fields. Probably uh, just understand that this is the entire area of the oil field, right? And after this particular area, they are also small, small areas surrounding this particular area, okay? Where oil fields are available. Okay, so just understand that 80% of the entire oils are extracted from here, remaining 20% are extracted from this 20%. Sorry, 80% are just understand in this way, guys. Sorry, I just want to make this pretty much clear. Okay, suppose I have some area of uh, land over here. Okay, and probably uh, I have some more small, small areas like this distributed. Okay. Here, when, when probably a government used to find oils, right? Most of the oils will be available in this specific area. So just understand that 80% of the oils are available in this 20% of area and remaining 20% are available on the surrounding areas. So this can be also a very good, amazing example with respect to power law distribution, okay? Now it is up to you guys, come up with more, more examples and try to put uh, that in the comment section. Uh, but one example for this power law distribution is something called as Pareto distribution. I hope everybody has heard of Pareto distribution, right? So this Pareto distribution is a kind of power law distribution. So let's understand about Pareto distribution. Now in Pareto distribution, you need to understand the graph looks something like this. Okay. Now we have already seen, yes, uh, with respect to power law distribution, you will be seeing like this you'll be seeing like this. Remember the height of the starting point is basically defined by this alpha parameter. So as the alpha goes higher, the height also goes higher. Okay. As the alpha goes higher, the height also goes higher. Understand guys, there is a very small difference between Pareto and log normal distribution. A log normal distribution usually starts like this, right? Whereas a Pareto distribution usually starts like this, right? This is a very dif amazing difference between Pareto distribution, probably a Pareto distribution and a log normal distribution. So here, if I take this specific example, this is basically my log normal, right? This is basically my Pareto distribution. And remember this height that is basically there is derived from this alpha parameter. There's a very small formula with respect to this kind of things. But if I go and see the PDF for this Pareto distribution, based on this alpha parameter, this height is actually determined. Okay. Why it is important? Because understand many of your distribution will also follow this Pareto distribution. Now, the thing is that uh, uh, I'll also be showing you like uh, what more things are more, some more advanced things with respect to practical implementation with Pareto distribution, but understand one more thing, which is called as cumulative distribution function. So here the cumulative distribution function is basically represented by this graph with respect to different, different alpha values. Okay. That basically means cumulative summation. You're just doing cumulative summation with respect to the probability. And here you'll be able to find as the alpha value increases, you'll be having still more curve still more curve this curve will be pretty much in depth when compared to the other curves okay so this is the basic difference with this so why i'm explaining you this guys because this is a very very important interview question with respect to uh what is a power law distribution uh you really need to understand 80 20 percent rule you really need to give this kind of examples i've given four examples uh with respect to ipl with respect to uh, 80 percentage of the data scientists using 20 percentage of the most common software products you know and 80 percentage of the sales are coming from 20 percentage of overall products all these kind of examples will be pretty much handy when you are explaining in the interview so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye